Hello everyone, Zuzu Gamer here and welcome back to Unlisted. Today we're going to talk about weapon upgrades. First of all, let's understand the inventory of the soldier. Here is what's good about this game. You can carry two main weapons. So for example, one rifle, one submachine gun. You can carry a Molotov, explosive together. And you can fill up your inventory even more. You can carry three grenades. It's insane how customizable the inventory is but at some point you will realize that you're running out of equipment because one by one these grenades are disappearing here we go i have no more grenade left but when i spawn in game with this character i'll be able to carry all of this stuff in future as you can see we're gonna have armor plate as well on the characters so that's how inventory works same thing for weapons as you can see i have four submachine gunners in my squad only one of them has mp28 others have uh car 98 looking gewehrs anyway you're running out of weapons and how do you get more weapons how do you equip all of your submachine gunners with the submachine guns by logistics it has been changed it separates when you click on that here's the stuff you can get depends on your level uh, more stuff will unlock but uh, you get in this cards order for weaponry at the end of the match and you have two options you either go for campaign weapons or you go for additional equipment what do i mean by additional equipment you can see what you can get uh, from this crate there's a chance of getting explosion pack molotov cocktail you know all, all of those explosive stuff med kit so if your squad is running out of med kits this is what you unlock uh, these cards might be purchasable in future i know it sucks i don't know why they did that but it will be a free-to-play game and they need to make money so let's say you want submachine guns what do you do depends on your level uh, more stuff will unlock here so for example i want uh, this machine gun mp28 you're just gonna keep spending your cards basically let's quickly test it out in the first opening i already got it car 98 car 98 will be the most thing you will receive and second mp28 so i wasted how many five cards and i got two mp28s let's quickly return to our squad and equip our boys with the mp28s here we go select back select back here we go well, you might think why my secondary slot is locked it's because i didn't upgrade that yet uh, you can get the additional slot uh, from this upgrade 3 i believe secondary weapon yeah and uh, now we know how to equip your squad with good weapons let's return to the troopers and click at this trooper so here is the thing we have so many giver 33s if you have one weapon that is crowded just like this one 10 of them you don't need 10 giver 33s what you can do you can disassemble that and here's when we're jumping to the weapon upgrades when you disassemble it it will give you this amount of gears then you can upgrade with those gears and here's the cost of it so for example upgrading this giver costs 28 gears let's return back to mp28 upgrading it costs 38 but before disassembling weapons don't forget that you have workshop upgrades here so it depends what uh, weapon you want to upgrade or disassemble you go into that squad clicking at the workshop upgrades then when you disassemble weapons if you have this tree unlocked all the way to the bottom 
uh, the weapon you disassemble will give you more gears. So for example, what does it says here? Weapon modification cost minus 15. So upgrading car 98k will be much less expensive. Let's look at this one. Weapon disassemble bonus plus 50. So yeah, as it says here, get more parts by disassembling car 98. Let's check out the submachine gun group. MP28 and it goes like that. This one has much longer tree as you can see. I know it's complex and I really hate it as well. This is the worst weapon upgrade system I've seen. Nothing we can do. Now let's try to disassemble the weapon. Okay, gear. Now, not recommended to disassemble at the beginning of the game. Make sure to upgrade that workshop tree, then disassemble. So you can get more gears. Uh, it's optional. Unnecessary equipment can be disassembled for parts that can be used to upgrade other weapons of the same model. So I'm disassembling. Item will be lost. You will receive between 4 and 12 gears. Yes. I received 10. Now I have 10 gears at total. Disassembling again. 10 again. Now I have 20. Disassembling again. Received 9 and 29. So now I can upgrade this car 98 shaped gear. And here is the stuff you're receiving when you upgrade it. You might think I can grind without upgrading weapons. No, like the upgrades are so beautiful. Like check this out. Vertical recoil, minus 12. Like the most uh, effective one is the hit power plus 20. It's amazing. That means you can one shot easier. And so for example, in submachine gun, let's see our upgrade. In submachine gun, rate of fire plus 20. And also hit power plus 20 as well. How cool is that? So let's quickly upgrade it just for this video. Let's upgrade this gear. So you might even lose your weapon. Chance of successful upgrade 100%. That is ridiculous. So that's how it works. I hope you got it. If you didn't understand, just rewatch this video from beginning. It is a little bit complex, but once you get used to it, you can get over it. Like seriously, if you're gonna ask me, like what really makes this game unique from the other World War II games, it's not limiting you. For example, in Submachine Gun, you can equip your soldier however you please. You can give him rifles, like you can give him every weapon from this list. You can basically carry two weapons, two machine guns or one machine gun and one rifle. It depends on the taste of the player. But <laughs> check this out how many grenades I have. Like, <laughs> so this guy doesn't have grenades. I'm gonna have to take away grenades from this guy. So if you want to fill up all of your soldiers with this amount of grenades, you're gonna have to open lots of lots of of this crate. Because this is the only crate that you will get grenades from. These are just weapon parts and weapons. That's how it works in Enlisted. If you have any questions, type in the comment section, I'll try to answer. That's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.